Thank you so much for inviting me for the third time in a row. And I accept it because I made the experience twice that you have a great audience here. But I have another reason. And the reason is here in my hands. This conference is extremely well organized. And as you probably know, as an economist, we always look for indicators. Leading indicators, lagging indicators, coincident indicators. And here I have a coincident indicator for the degree of organization of this conference. So you might be, be a little bit surprised, but it is. It's, it's, it's so much fun for me. It's a speaker information. And I have to follow eight rules. And this is uh, your, at the end of the, of the lines. You're going to be punished by A, B, C. But the most important rule is number seven. So your talk time must not be exceeded. And I'm not going to tell you about the punishment. I am not going to waste my time. I go into the details of the current economic environment. Two years ago, I talked about, or I talked, I quoted Bob Dylan by his famous song, Times They Are Changing, last year. And I was talking about that inflation was about to come. Last year, I talked about inflation, the reasons why inflation will continue to go up. And today, I'll talk about the mountains. And I usually use for my economic outlook a metaphor. And for the year 23, I've chosen the mountains. And my main scenario is the rich walk. Mountains. If it's, if it's cloudy, if there's fog, you do not see much, and people get unsecure. And the uncertainty is also something we like to track with indicators, and there is an uncertainty indicator, and this is available for almost every country in the world. And you see, in Germany, we feel or our newspapers, this is how often the, the word uncertainty is quoted in the newspapers in the different countries. And you see that in Germany, we feel much more uncertainty. Than